welcome to Star Citizen and the Invictus Launch Week news for Drake Interplanetary. With the defense con of Drake Interplanetary, the Invictus Launch Week ends after Drake is the last exhibitor here this year. And since Drake and its ships are not part of the UEA Navy, Drake has made in a tradition to hold its popular counter event during the Invictus Week. The grand final of the Invictus event starts on end of May and runs until 1st June. The free fly event, on the other hand, will last a few days longer. So even after Drake, you still have the opportunity to rent all the ships that were available during this period for 48 hours free of charge. And we will show you how you can rent more ships for free. And as usual, you will receive the complete PDF overview for all Warbond upgrades and ships as a free download in the Discord. So you won't miss a single paint, upgrade or concept ship. And Drake has three very interesting ones to offer. Unlike previous exhibitors, Drake's DefenseCon will not take place in the Tobin Expo Center, but directly in the spaceport's premises. On New Babbage, landing us right at the vehicle entrance. And of course, you can download the free Pledge Store PDF guide as usual. And here is the hind that Drake also offers special paints, among others for the Dragonfly or the popular Cutlass series, which differ from the previous Invictus paints. The colors of the Defense Con in black and red are a clear contrast to the otherwise so bright blue and white at the spaceport and catch the eye directly. And with a pity slogan, after the fleet launches, who left to protect you, we've reached the Drake Defense Con. With the Cutlass series, we come across what are probably Drake's best known ships. The Black is an entry level version with multi crew capabilities, good armament, a favorable price, and good flight characteristics. The Red version is the medical version, where you exchange the manable turret for a dedicated scanner, but so far even has a spawn option. In the future, however, this function will probably be dropped. At the end of the hall, we find the Buccaneer, the light fighter from Drake, which proved to be the test winner in the firepower category in our test. The interchangeable size 4 hardpoint on the roof is a big plus here. And with the Herald, we come to the fastest ship in the verse so far, which as a medium data runner still has to wait for the necessary gameplay. Actually, the Herald is a huge engine with a cockpit and a computer. And the Drake philosophy, that ejection seats are not necessary for a Drake pilot, is found in all ships of this manufacturer. Performance and little comfort are the motto here. And of course, we haven't forgotten the Cutlass Blue. This version is specialized in bounty hunting with its 12 prison cells as well as a quantum damper is still waiting for the appropriate gameplay through. Placed in the center of the main hall, we find the Caterpillar, a modular cargo ship, which will also have the option for undocking the command module and using it as a shuttle. However, so far neither the modularity nor the possibility of undocking is given, which is why the Caterpillar's greatest rank, it is enormous cargo capacity of 576 SEU. The display hall, on the other hand, is interesting, because here we find the Drake ships that are still in a concept phase, with all of them being a highlight. And of course, Drake's only ground vehicle, the Dragonfly, is not to be missed. This quickly overheating hover vehicle, equipped with the rear-facing passenger seat, is definitely fun. But now we come to what is probably the biggest highlight at Drake, if not the highlight of the entire Invictus Fair. Next to the Javelin or Idris, the Kraken is one of the largest and most interesting ships in Star Citizen. This light carrier ship is not only a visual highlight, but also offers over 3500 SCU cargo capacity in the interior, or in the Privateer edition, extra charge, several shops and additional game mechanics. And this monster will even have at least a small med bay. Release the Kraken! With the Vulture, Drake also had a one-man salvaging ship on offer, 
which is a single-player alternative to the Mighty Reclaimer. Here we can at least hope for a relatively early release, unlike the Kraken, which will probably be lurking in the depths for some time yet. The gameplay mechanics of salvaging, however, will appear already this year, at least in the first stages of expansion. But let's move on to one of the most anticipated ships of any Drake fan, the Corsair. This multi-crew exploration ship basically expects to make enemy discoveries, as the extraordinary armament relies on aggressive discoveries in combat. The Corsair is most comparable to the Constellation series, as we find multi-crew, the ability to accommodate larger vehicles, powerful armament and a unique design here. However, it remains to be seen whether the concept of 5 size 5 2 size 4 and 2 size 3 weapon hardpoints for the pilot will be retained, as this would make the Corsair the most powerful pilot controlled ship in the verse. In addition, there are missiles and various turrets. And you either love the design or hate it. How you cannot like it, however, remains a mystery to me. But here's an important tip for you, at the terminals in the Drake Hall you can not only borrow all the ships in the previous manufacturers for 48 hours until the end of the event on 1st June, but also many other ships and very special versions. From the Reclaimer, the Argo Mole and the Alien ships to the Hello Kitty Dragonfly, almost everything is available here. Thanks Clendatu for the tip. And the very last chance to borrow all these ships for free for two days is just before the end of event on 1st June. And with the announcements of our really big giveaways, where CIG has also packed a real banger, we say goodbye until next time. See you soon and see you in the verse.